M9 goes on sale here in the U.S. 1201 in just a few hours. What are the expectations of this phone? Um, some say it's only an incremental upgrade from the previous versions. We don't think it's incremental at all. If you look at HTC One franchise, it won Smartphone of the Year the last two years in a row. So we wanted to build on that success, actually make it more beautiful than ever, make it easier to hold so you'll find it more narrow than the M8. Uh, we've moved the power button down so it's more ergonomic. It's contextually aware, so it actually knows, am I at home? or work and will serve me up the applications that I'm mostly using at home or work or that I'm using on the road. It really is a premium product and with uh-oh protection, you can buy it with peace of mind. The uh-oh protection plan, one-time free replacement within the first 12 months of purchase, is that a way for you to woo back customers from Samsung and Apple? We've talked to thousands of customers over the last couple of years and understanding what are the pain points. And what came out of that is one out of every four smartphone users has a phone that's damaged. And what we're doing is we're taking care of those customers. You always have your phone with you. You're at the bar. You overestimate your friend's ability to catch it as to show them the YouTube clip. It drops, cracks the display. You call HTC the next day we will overnight wow. you, so we'll overnight you a replacement phone for that. Of people that had 0% consideration for buying an HTC when they bought their last smartphone, once they hear about uh-oh protection, their consideration goes from zero to over 70%. So we think wow. it's a massive differentiator. It's something that we know our big competitors aren't gonna do, don't wanna do, um, and so we're taking advantage of our size. You said you've always looking for the next opportunity for HTC to grow and innovate. What's next? Yeah, this year we just announced, actually a few weeks ago, um, that we're getting into virtual reality and doing it in a big way. And so we've announced a product called the HTC Vive, mm -hmm. um, which is ultimately born out of a partnership between HTC and Valve, who runs the Steam network, and we're gonna launch a virtual reality product that's gonna blow people's minds uh, before the holidays this year. How did a small Taiwanese tech company make it into the world stage? And it's, I tell you, it's amazing. You know, you sit, I sat down with Cher. I remember asking her uh, six, six years ago, five years ago, something like that. Hey, did you ever think when you founded this company that HTC would even be considered next to an Apple and Samsung, these two big Goliath, Goliath companies, right? It's because we're always thinking about what's next. And we're not thinking about just how do I pad our wallet, uh, but, but how do I solve consumer pain points? And if we do that well, we deliver a great product, we solve consumer pain points, the money will come. And as a result right now, um, we're seeing the benefit of that. Uh, we're, we're achieving something that no other smartphone company has ever done, not BlackBerry, not Motorola, not Nokia, and that once a smartphone player has gone negative quarter over quarter, they've never been able to turn it around, even after the sugar daddy Google or Microsoft buy them. Um, and we've done that. And we've now experiencing uh, three quarters in a row with, with the fourth quarter last year where we've had a profitable quarters and quarter over quarter growth. So that's, it's, uh, the strategy's paying off.